When we thin our forest and take out very specific trees, those trees open the canopy and allow sunlight to come through. We all learned in elementary school that plants need sunlight, water, and nutrients in order to grow. So when we pair prescribed fire with ecological timber thinning, that gives us the recipe for all the things that we need for all of these herbaceous plants to grow up in the understory. In Arkansas, 46% of our native plants and wildlife are prescribed fire dependent. When we give these native plants an area to grow, that gives more food for wildlife resources uh, like deer and turkey and quail. Uh, it gives our songbirds refuge and gives pollinators uh, more area to cover, uh, which helps enable our croplands in the other parts of the states to also thrive. So ecological timber thinning is a little bit different than your traditional clear cutting of a forest stand. We go in and we select very specific trees to pull out of the forest, which gives us more light and allows us to create a better species composition. The goal for our forest management is to return the forest to a more natural state. Here in this part of the state, our forests were traditionally a short leaf pine and mixed hardwood stand forest. When you look at plantation forest, which is what most of our timber companies in the area are growing, that is one species of non-native pine. Therefore, when they harvest, they come through and take all of those out and replant. We're trying to create a better species mix across the landscape and give us a more healthy forest for the protection of our water sources. When we create these more native stands, we are making them more resilient. They are less susceptible to insects, disease, and wildfire. So prescribed fire, think of it like a prescription that you would get at the doctor's office. We've gone through the forest and asked a lot of questions. We look at what kind of trees are here, what kind of soil is here, and how much dead material has piled up over time. When we go to write a prescription that allows us to create a healthier forest, we take into consideration the weather, the wind direction, and all of those other components to create a prescription that will allow us to safely burn at a very low intensity so that we accomplish exactly what we're trying to do, which is to take that dead material off of the forest floor and give it back to the soil so that we can grow better plants. That's different from a spontaneous wildfire in which wildfire enters the forest unexpectedly and attaches itself to that dead material. That creates a basically a great big campfire that puts the, for, the fire up into the forest, it can burn the canopy, and that's what we want to try to avoid. When we constantly burn off that material out of the forest floor, we're reducing that risk, so we're basically fighting fire with fire. When you cut trees from a forest, there's lots of different objectives that you can take into consideration. For private landowners, they may simply be wanting an economic return which puts those forest products into our economy. It gives us paper products and wood that we use to build our homes. Others may simply do this uh, thinning in order to get an aesthetic view, uh, sometimes of lakes or mountains, other resources. 
And what we're doing when we cut trees is we are trying to enhance that health of the forest. We are doing this for better water quality, better water quantity, and to help our forest uh, battle things like wildfires, infestations, and become more resilient pieces of the landscape.